Yeah, thank you, uh, John. John Letts there with uh, with Neville Wilson. He's probably one of the elder statesmen as far as jo in jockey ranks are concerned, Gary, but he's also one of the uh, uh, finer uh, athletes involved in the sport. Could meet a nicer bloke. Oh, I know, and, uh, you know, very hard worker, Neville. Like, he's uh, got a uh, dairy farm, and, like, he's won these last two races, so his wife must be having to milk the cows for him. Yes. Yes, he spends a lot of time out on the road down near uh, Colac Way, so you could uh, imagine how long it takes. It's a, it's a good two and a quarter hour drive uh, and a round trip, so you're looking at around the five hour mark and he's not afraid to travel. Oh no, he's um, you know, been a great rider, Neville. He had a lot of success on Rodelva. Got a lot of, uh, quite a lot of races on him and a couple of good weight for age races. And it's great to see, you know, someone like Neville, you know, getting these couple of winners up on uh, over the Cup Carnival. Okay, let's run through some totes through the program. The first went to leading bounty, $11.50 and two eighty from Inchgower, 170 Carindale wound up third. It returned $4.20. Jegabar was the unplaced favourite, and it wound up running sixth, but well beaten. Two lengths by 20 with the margins in the first. Race two, Placido for Patrick Payne, 16.30 and 4.60. Defeated Pom Sell at 3.50 and Campaign Warrior. Good effort under the big weight, $3.30. Trifecta in excess of $2,000. Race number three, past the post, 7.15. Protest over the last 200 metres by Darren Gauchy against Greg Hall. It was upheld. Number one, Flavor winning the Group 2 Maribyrnong Plate, $3.30 and $1.40, maintaining his unbeaten record. Samadir at 2.80 and in Costa de Lago, 130. And the placings, 7.15 across the line reverted to 175 when the protest was upheld race number four magical storm 560 and 210 for rod griffiths beat amuse us at 620 and our brigetta at 1050 big trifecta three thousand five hundred and twenty dollars four seven and twelve on the fourth event the winner did start the favorite the uh, nissan stakes group one went to seascape nine dollars fifty for the win and three dollars thirty the place defeating talander at eight dollars twenty and juggler rattling home down the outside at one dollar and ninety three seventeen and two and it was a, sh a long head by a long head with the margins there were heaps of chances inside the last 400. Mary running down to the 300 and it's still Talander over a length in front of Snap. Seascay's made up good ground. Then our Marquis followed by Saber Suit and Seascay getting through the pack. Talander in front. Here Seascay and Snap. Saber Suit wide out. Seascay getting through. He won this race last year and he's going to win it again by the looks of it. Snap and Talander and Juggler late. Seascay in front. Seascay beat Talander, Juggler and Island Maud and also Saber Suit close up. Race 6. Pendy won the Queen Elizabeth 7-10 230 defeating quick ransom at 190 and dark czar at two dollars and 70 cents five three one on the sixth event down the straight race seven red hope for shane die eighteen dollars thirty and five dollars even defeated madison point three dollars thirty and razor pulse at three dollars twenty five seven and three on race number seven and on the last event the numbers are eleven three and twelve eleven three and twelve on the last event i can tell you if you got the quad extra today you'd be shouting in excess of thirty thousand dollars for the quad extra dividend pat lawler our chairman of stewards Right. That was Plushka's rider, which was David Taggart. And we're about to hear correct weight or otherwise on the last event. 11, 3, 4, 12, 6, 4 and 15. 12. Correct weight, thank you. Thank you, Pat. And with correct weight, we can check some tote dividends on the last event officially. $15.90 and $4.80 for the winner. Take or leave it. Teos at $2.30. Espinosa $5.40. Quinella paid $79.30. The exacta $140.60. Trifecta $2,931.40. The race to race double $579 even. And the quad extra paid $30,291.80. And the numbers for that quad extra dividend, Tim, I'm sure a lot of us wouldn't have had it. Uh, three double five eleven. All right, thank you, Dan. And while I've still got you and Gary there, goodbye. Thank you. A sterling job as usual. Thanks very much, Tim, and all the best. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you, fellas. I've got Peter and Jenny with me. And uh, as it turns out, record crowd since 1960, nearly a quarter of a million and terrific racing. Yes, racing's really made a comeback as far as the crowds go. And it's fantastic because the VRC and all the race clubs here in Melbourne have put in a lot of work to get the crowds back. And it is working. Yeah. And as they said to me this morning, they uh, put the work into getting young people to come back out here. And there's been thousands of them. Good horses will always draw people to the racetrack, and that's what we've had this week, Tim. Yeah, absolutely. Stay there for a second. Murray Louise, are you still there? Still here. Oh! <laughs> my microphone, though. <laughs>
It's been a great day, and you're right, younger people. Well, look, I've got my young one here, and it's been terrific. I've had the best time of any spring carnival I can remember. You certainly have, and she's having a <laughs> bye ball, bye. too. <laughs> she's having a great time. Mel? Yes? Let her have the microphone. Okay. Goodbye, mate. <laughs> bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a lovely picture to uh, almost leave our coverage with. Um, how good is nothing like a Dane going to be? Quickly tell me. Oh, he could be anything, couldn't mm. he? Really an impressive performance in the Derby and then what he did in the Melbourne Cup for a three-year-old on a heavy track. First time over that distance was just sensational. Hey. Shane Dye wants to get him to the Prix de Lake de Triomphe. That's how good he thinks he is. Really? Mm. Uh, has he spoken to TJ about that yet? Don't know. <laughs> <laughs> or gay, for that matter. Uh, and, of course, we can't uh, go without uh, Doremus in the Melbourne Cup. Um, I call him, and I think you call him, one of the best staying horses in the country. Lee said, handicap horse, yes. A wonderful effort, though. Mm. Terrific ride by Damien Oliver. And the carnival will be remembered, of course, for some of the mishaps of the carnival oh, to the yes. jockeys as well. Yes, yeah. all our beaten and battered jockeys. Let's hope they recover very quickly. Well, thankfully, you know, they were injuries, but, uh, you know, they were able to get up and walk away from hospital within uh, a couple of hours. So mm. that was great. Thanks, guys. Pleasure. Terrific as usual. Jenny Chapman, Peter Donegan. Always good to work with you, yeah. uh, Tim. It's a great week. It certainly is. All right, uh, our summer of sports coming up. Let me just quickly show you that that's uh, on tomorrow. NRG, the Sonova Sport Adventure. Blue Water Dreaming, which is one of my favourites. Miller Baseball Action, the Sydney Blues versus the Hunter Eagles. The Pepsi Max Extremist, Sydney Triathlon World Cup. That's on tomorrow. Uh, thanks to Sue Lloyd-Williams at the VRC. She's been a tremendous help as usual. In fact, thanks to the VRC in general for looking after us during this week, to the Hyatt Hotel for looking after us too, Delta Cars, everybody that gives us a hand. We really do enjoy bringing you this week, I can tell you that. So on behalf of Peter Donegan, Jenny Chapman, everyone in the van, everyone on the cameras, everyone doing the tapes, bye from Flemington and we'll see you next year. Bye everyone.